Why are more men dying from COVID-19 than women? Ever since COVID-19 emerged in late 2019, researchers have been rushing to learn more about this disease. And so far, one thing is certain. Men are more likely to get more severe symptoms and even die from COVID-19 than women. So what's going on? Let's go over the different hypotheses. One hypothesis is that it has to do with sex hormones. Women have estrogen and progesterone, and perhaps these somehow help us fight off the illness. One study looked at mice and infected them with SARS, which is another coronavirus in the same family as COVID-19. So in this study, the male mice actually had more severe cases of SARS and were more likely to die than the female mice. But then the researchers removed the ovaries from the female mice. And um, in another group, they put in uh, blockers to estrogen receptors. And it turned out that these female mice, after these procedures, didn't do as well as they did before. So clearly, somehow, estrogen and progesterone were related to their survival. This study and others are so compelling that there's actually a small pilot study going on now with COVID-19, where researchers are giving um, patients who already have COVID-19 estrogen and progesterone to see how they fare and if it lessens their symptoms. So Life Science will update you on those results once they're in. Another thought is that the X chromosome is somehow protective for women. So just to recap, women have two X chromosomes and men have an X and a Y. So it turns out there's actually more immune-related genes on the X chromosome, and somehow this may be protective for women. This also may explain why women have more autoimmune diseases than men. It could be that the virus is hiding somewhere, and this could be in the male testes. But first, let me back up and explain the experiment. There was a research project in India that looked at 68 people with COVID-19, and this included men and women. And every day they took a nasal swab to see if the person was still shedding virus. And actually they found that women cleared the virus on average two days earlier than men. And this made them wonder why did this happen? So they went to a database and they found that men actually have ACE2 receptors in their testes. And the ACE2 receptor is actually the gateway that lets the virus into the cell and infect it and replicate and then infect more cells. So the equivalent of the testes in women is ovaries, and there are actually no ACE2 receptors detected in the ovaries. So it's possible that in addition to infecting ACE2 receptors in your respiratory system and in your digestive tract, Perhaps the virus is also hanging out in the male testes and thus is, you know, making it harder for men to rid themselves of the virus in the long run. However, the researchers did not actually look at the testes. This is very theoretical. So that is one idea which has to be looked into more. You may have heard that perhaps smoking plays a role because when you smoke, that is actually tied to more expression of ACE2 receptors. And it actually turns out that more men in China smoke than women do, so that's why some people at first thought this could be a factor. However, when you look at all of the reports from around the world, it doesn't really pan out because smoking rates are equal in some countries, and even in those countries, men are still more likely to get severe cases and die from COVID-19. So it seems like this theory might not be the reason why, but we'll wait and see. And finally, it could be that women are simply better at washing their hands and not taking risks that affect their health than men are. So as you see, there's a lot of hypotheses at play for why men are more severely affected. But keep in mind that this is just one risk factor overall for the illness. Other risk factors include having diabetes, being obese, and having high blood pressure. Thank you.